So it's 7.30 in the morning here. Sun just came up in Tampa, Florida. We're about to go on a golf road trip. Here. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Oh, it's in! We're literally on a dirt road. You found this footage. Oh, Please sue Google for oh, us. God, Look at this. Over. We're going for like a rickety yeah. <laughs> We are going to see where this trip takes us. We have no idea. We don't have anything booked. And you're coming along for the journey. All right, here he is. He's actually at the front door. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> What's up? Not much. Are you ready to just take off and Let's go, go somewhere? Man. Let's go, uh, We're going to find somewhere to golf and uh, it could be a road trip. It could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. <laughs> Trusty sticks. I'm ready. <laughs> oh. Off into the great unknown. <laughs> yeah. All we know is we're going to hit the interstate and head north. What do you think we should go? So uh, I, I mean, figure. So we're going to go north. Yep. Love to get out of Florida. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I, we need I to get out like, of Florida. Yeah. Time. We we've got a choice to make. Really, it's just going to be up the East Coast, probably. Yeah. Maybe up through Georgia or kind of heading west. Right. We could, we could hit I-10 and and, hit, and cook out left. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the only problem there is, you know. Uh, we got to deal with is just the fact that that is a long stretch out of Florida. It's true. I've got clients in Jacksonville. I feel like if we also head east, we've got Hilton Head, Savannah. Oh. We could keep going up even to Charleston. Even I've never been there. That makes sense. If we're going kind of 95 north, that gives us that whole kind of southern eastern seaboard. That's got to be loaded with courses. There's, it's kind of Gulf way. Mecca. I mean, it used to really? be. Like I think you know Hilton Head and Myrtle Beach really used to be huge hotspots. They still are to some degree. Okay. Um, I think they get overshadowed sometimes now, yeah. but I think there's some fabulous golf courses there too. Well, then that kind of seems like the logical choice because we're going to have the most options, I feel, if we go that direction. Right. Because heading heading anywhere, you know, heading anywhere to the west, you know, you got Alabama and you got uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, but I don't think that we have too many options. Yeah, you know, it could be fun like, to play in Louisiana. We got to kind of go as the juice or the squeeze, right? Right. Where, where it's going to give us the most options since right. we're kind of cold calling and just uh, <laughs> yeah, heading out like on the open a, road. There's, a, there's more per capita up the East Coast for us. Yeah. So I, that, okay. that, that's where I'm feeling, but I don't know. Well, man. I think that makes sense. And so let's just head north and then we'll head east. Okay. So Definitely, I think, you know, Jacksonville area in Florida, with there's okay. a few good ones. Okay. Um, have you... It'd be nice you, even, like, if there's any kind of, like, little-known gems up there or something, maybe. Yeah. Or, uh, I mean, you got the PJ Village is kind of up in there, right? Really? I mean, you've got, you've got obviously, Sawgrass up, yeah. up there, Ponte yeah. Vedra, and a few nice sure. courses in that part of the world. And then get, get past there. Uh, we can be up into the Savannah, Hilton Head That's, region. That'd be great. I've, I've never been there. Yeah. And uh, I've always wanted to go to Savannah. I don't know how I haven't because it's one of those destinations that's not terribly far for us. Right. And it's just kind of like a must-see. Plus, it's just a cool city, and it just happens to be Halloween weekend. So. Oh yeah. Oh. That, that could be a pretty is. cool. That could be a pretty cool experience. Okay. Actually. Yeah. Hilton Head is is like 45 minutes from Savannah. So. That's. I mean, that's probably doable. Yeah. 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 I've always heard about Hilton Head, but exactly. I don't know too much about Let it. Let me see what we can do. We'll check out the rates. Keough Island is one I've always wanted to play. I've That's never... a tough one to get on, though. That, that might be that might be difficult. Then you got Sea Sea uh, Sea Pines. They've got Harbor Town. Yeah. And they've got the Atlantic Dunes there. Yeah. Which is the Davis Love the Third course. We could hit that one up. I can see what those rates are. And if we're going kind of if we're going that direction. I feel like we got to kind of figure out somewhere to play today. It's our budget here for this trip, by the way. We got to decide that too. Oh, budgets are boring. Budgets are boring. Yeah. It's a guy's we'll, trip. We'll take it as, um, you know, we'll take it as it comes, right? And then we can always ask for forgiveness later. I pulled twenty-five thousand dollars out of the ATM, so whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Slammer and Squire rated four point seven on Golf Advisor. Ooh. World Golf Village is home to 36 challenging holes of championship golf. The Slammer and Spire course is named after two World Golf Hall of Fame legends, Sam Snead and Gene Sarenson, who served as consultants to the course designer, Bobby Weed. I actually know Bobby Weed, uh, oh, some okay. of his work. I've got some clients up in New Jersey, and he does a pretty awesome job, actually. Yeah. Bob Village, this is one team I help you with the key there, the Slammer and Spire. I wanted to see if there's any way that um, you've got any tee times available today. Um, at some point in this afternoon. Chip golfers around 1250 today is going to be $129 per golfer, and that's going to take the whole to the 
Okay. All right. Yeah, it looks like it's two hours and 44 minutes. Okay. Okay, perfect. That's awesome. Okay. This is a great option. Thank you so much. All right. Awesome. All right, cool. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Hi. I hear it's amazing. Honestly. I do too. Uh, what do you think of that price? I mean, it's a little steep, but uh, I mean, we can, if you think it's a good fit, let's do it. I think we should do a little more research on it. Let's find out. Yeah, hi, do you do, do you guys do just daily fee golf there? Um, no, it's only a private guest. Private guests. Okay, got it. All right, thanks. I'm going to put a message out on Reddit because I've been in this golf community on Reddit a lot. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just going to see what people recommend. Like That is a great idea. And tell them they've got like uh, maybe an hour or two tops because we're gonna have to make some decisions on where we're turning. Yeah. Well, they're gonna <laughs> see what this. I'll just be like two guys heading up with 75. Where should yeah. we stop for where 95? Stop right? That will be the post. Time is on my side. Are you doing yes, this right it now? Yes, it is now. Because I've got to spend a weekend with you. And if you're doing that already and we're just getting started off, I'm a little scared. One guy says the club at Savannah Harbor. Maybe we should check that one out. The club at Savannah Harbor. The club at Savannah Harbor. That sounds really good, actually. Yeah, that could be good. Okay. I'm going to check that one out. So we can maybe add that to the list. What the heck? Let's just let's just call TPC Sawgrass and just oh. find out, like, what is, what is it like? What's it like to call day wow. of TPC Sawgrass? Okay. Well, I can't hear. Maybe they got a cancellation and they're desperate over there. Thank you for calling TPC Sawgrass Golf Reservations. All of our agents are currently assisting with your guests. Please leave your name and best oh, number to contact you at. And we will return your call. It was. Early. I thought. It was yeah, hi, uh, my name is Gabriel. Please call me back, 813. Oh, Someone's okay. calling us from Ponte Vedra. Oh. Hello, this is Gabe. Good morning, Gabriel. It's Michelle from TPC Sawgrass. How are you? Hey, Michelle, I'm doing great. How are you? Thanks for the call back. Yeah. That was very timely. <laughs> yeah, so, well, good. This is a good time for you, then? It is, yes. Um, what can I help you with? Well, probably something insane and crazy, but... Um, we're, we're trucking up uh, 75 and just wanted to see if there was any chance that you've got any tea times available this afternoon. Okay. Now, I don't know if you know, but the stadium is closed at the moment for overseeding, but the valley is open. Okay, yeah. What would the rate be at the Dyes Valley? What time of day do you think you'll be able to get here, or would you like to play? I could get there anywhere from about 12 to 3, so I don't know if there's a difference in rate set between those, if you've got like a twilight type thing or something. Yeah, we do. Twilight today starts at 2.15, and that rate would be at 1.20 per player. Any time before 2.15, the rate is at 2.25 per player. Okay. Um, is there, is it, is that course, I know um, the stadium is caddies, is there, do you have to have a caddy at the Dye Valley as well? Before you, before Twilight, you will get a caddy with your rate of 225 per player. It's a four caddy, okay? That's one caddy for all four players, and you'll be in a cart. So after Twilight, you don't need that, though? After, uh, after Twilight, with that rate at 120, you will not get a four caddy, correct? Okay, let's um, let's book something at the twilight rate. Alrighty. And how many players? Uh, just a twosome. Okay, I can do two fifteen. Perfect. Two twenty five. Yeah. So two fifteen. Two fifteen would be amazing. Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's get you in here. Got the confirmation. It's official. Something I really like about us going here is is when you hear TPC Sawgrass, all you think about anyone thinks about is. They, their mind goes straight to hole number 17 right, it's all on the about. yeah on the stadium course. Yeah. So I love the fact that we're gonna take in the show here to one of the lesser known courses here at Dye Valley. Yeah, so if you're thinking about going to TPC Sawgrass, you can see what it's actually like to experience Dye Valley. Yeah. <coughs> little known fact, little known fact, or maybe lesser known fact. Four hundred was it four hundred thousand balls per. Per oh, year yeah, I remember. are lost on 17 at Sawgrass. 400,000. It, it was, crazy. yeah, it was something like that. It was really astonishing. I'm kind of interested because, you know, this is Pete Dye and Bobby Weed, who we were just talking okay. about. Uh, he, he helped in it and he also did the redesign. And what's cool is I'm, I'm interested to see if there's, there's got to be some some overlap in design elements, yeah. right? There's, so I wonder how close this actually is to the stadium. That, that's a good point. <laughs> are you taking I don't know. We got rerouted because there's no signal out here and we are literally on a dirt road <laughs> and I am 
very afraid that we're going to end up cutting through someone's like hunting stand and get <laughs> shot at. <laughs> Look at this place. This is insane. This is crazy. This is this is what? This what is are we wrong. using? This is Google. This is Google. This and cannot I just, be right. I just. Yeah, we lost signal when it said rerouting, and uh, here we are on a dirt road. The good thing is, is apparently we've only got this if we live for the next mile and a half, yeah. and then we'll be fine. Hopefully, we don't get stuck. If you found this footage, oh please sue Google for oh us. God, Look at this. We're going up like a rickety, <laughs> a rickety bridge. I don't have four wheel drive. Oh my god. Maybe we should have brought the Jeep we after all. We should have brought the Jeep after all. <laughs> I'm scared. This is weird, man. This is very This weird. cannot be right. I might have just peed a little bit. <laughs> pee check. Yeah, pee check. <laughs> Florida man dies on golf trip. Yeah. Takes a Ooh. wrong turn into a hunting trap. I feel like that's civilization. <laughs> oh, it looks like so. it's a road. One heck of a shortcut. Wow. But we found pavement. Oh, yeah. Wow. Is it a McDonald's? Is it a Circle K? Is it a mobile? No one knows. No one knows, <laughs> but I do know they have a restroom and I'm about to find it. Look at the fancy water. If you want to drink something fancy in the middle of Central Florida, you go for Zephyr Hills Sparkling. This is basically the Perrier of Central Florida, right here. Nice. Cheers. All right, this is our exit right here. We are officially oh, 28 minutes away from our destination. Pontra Vidra, here we come. I think this is super exciting. We're just pulling in to Sawgrass. Who knew when we woke up this morning, this is where we were coming? Uh, yeah, that's pretty <laughs> amazing. Beautiful little drive in, isn't it?